Hello everyone, my name is Dustin Lint and welcome back to episode 175, I think this will be now. I'm um, sorry that I haven't been posting anything as of late. Uh, I found out that they are, or that they were going to be releasing uh, the public uh, beta version 0.9.22, the tactical update, uh, recently, which I now have. Um, so I didn't want to continue too far into the series before uh, that update, otherwise it would most likely corrupt the save data again, which it appears to have done. Um, so what are they changing this update? I'll rehash basically, or a lot of this is going to be rehashing what I said in uh, 0 0.9.20, but I thought I would go over it again for those of you who did not uh, watch the 0 0.9.20 update video, but I'll also indicate once we get to the uh, changes specifically from that update. Uh, so, what's changed in the tactical update? Uh, content, they've added two new heroes. Mizi Curtis, uh, the G2G hero and her dark companion. Krang, the Endless Legend uh, founder pack Draken hero. They've added one new event, the EMP, which temporarily deactivates modules of random rooms uh, from the G2G forums, thanks to uh, Stealth Hawk for that suggestion. And uh, they've added one new mob, the Herna Debuffer, and its elite form, which reduces the attack power of heroes in the room. They've added almost HD portraits for the heroes' HUD. They've improved environments by adding props, animations, and effects. They've added situational dialogues different for each hero. Uh, they've added new, new tutorials. Uh, select You can select it in the menu to test it, but it's a work in progress. They've added two special skills for prisoners and crew members. Uh, improvements. They've added a tactical map, hence the tactical update or the name of the update. Um, you can use the mouse wheel down to zoom out and then click or mouse wheel up over a room to zoom in. You can move and unpower rooms in this mode. They've improved the crystal <laughs> they've improved the crystal phase. Uh, the rooms no longer uh, unpower as you go through them. The crystal can't be put back into the first room and all doors of the floor are opened. You have to decide when you leave the floor, all of your crew members have to be in the exit, otherwise you will lose them. They've added a backpack in the inventory panel. All items in this bag will be kept between floors. They've, re they've added remote powering and auto power... Or, sorry. They've added remote powering. Auto powers several rooms at the same time by clicking on a remote room as long as you have enough dust. They've improved merchants. Um, each... One now has a currency between food, industry, science, and dust for sell and buy. They've added multi-doors bonus. You get a score bonus whenever you open doors in the action phase. They've added a pause button in the bottom right widget. They've improved several animations on monsters and heroes. Heroes found in the dungeon can now have a higher level but cost slightly more. They've added hero refund. If you dismiss a hero, you get a certain amount of food based on his level. I should say his or her level. Um, they've added a special portrait when a hero dies. They've improved he the hero's head, reorganized the buttons to avoid misclicks, improved wounded feedback. Uh, they've improved the graphical UI, log, hero panel, FIDS, dialogue, transition screens, etc, etc. Uh, they've unlocked Dina by default and changed low health feedback to the sooner and more or they changed low health feedback to be sooner and more visible. That man, I misread that terribly. Uh, they've improved auto powered effects and environment effects. Uh, they've added new effects for each module upgrade. Balancing. They've increased the level up costs of the first hero levels, but slightly reduced the last ones. The global <laughs> the global cost is therefore increased. Uh, they've increased the number of new heroes on the floor. Uh, They've reduced heal costs in the infirmary pod. They've reduced shop costs, build and research. They've re tweaked item costs for drugs and effects for devices. They've increased the lure activation delay. They've reduced the power and the number of the anti-minor module mobs. 
They've increased power of kamikazes, but they also hurt other creatures. They've changed Hollow Hero module behavior. It no longer attracts mobs if other of uh, no of other rooms, and it, it, they've also increased Hollow Hero module defense. Now the bug fixes since branch 0.9.20 update. Kraying is available for Endless Legend Founder Pack owners now. Level up stats preview is displayed now. Green color is correct in the tactical map, shows rooms with modules inside. Hero selection marker is correct on the tactical map. Several panels are now hidden in the tactical map, dialogues, crystal button, um, etc. Mouse wheel can be used in the inventory. Um, system menu is fixed. Lighting glitch in the sewers environment is fixed. Hero sprite glitches during attack behavior or during attack has been fixed, and Kamikaze Elite behavior has been fixed. Okay, that was very long and rambling. That alone took almost five minutes. Uh, so let's uh, get started on a new game because I know the last one will be corrupted and drill pod is still unfortunately uh, locked. So I will be doing the armory pod. I'm going to do it on easy mode so I can assure myself uh, unlocking the drill pod. Because I was doing easy mode and I was handling it, but it was starting to get dicey there for a little bit. So I'm going to go uh, wuss mode and go too easy. Just out of curiosity, let's check this out real quick. Okay, so I still haven't unlocked Rakia Pulmoni apparently. I thought I did. And then the only other heroes which I haven't unlocked are the two new ones. Ooh, I like their uh, character models a whole lot. Even though I can't actually see them, just the outline, I like them a whole lot. Okay, let's start up. And who do we have to start off with this armory run? We have interesting. Okay, so we have Axel Kane. We have um, what's his name? Uh, Ken Masake, uh Elise Ness, and Gork Butcher Corsair. We have three people with the machine gun. Oh my god, that is. I don't know what to think of that. That is quite the start. Um, gonna have to be balancing between foozies quite often. DPS is currently 62, 64, 64, so you can have the first foozy and, uh, I guess Gord can have the other foozy. Yeah. She starts off with dust cells, health regen plus 3 in powered rooms, and defense plus 7 in powered rooms. And she also has got your back self. Defense plus 10% when grouped with others they trust. Interesting. And then he also has uh, heroes get power boost when their mates are about. I, so he gets a Gork and Max can get a boost when they're together. And then I guess uh, Ken and Elise get a boost when they're together. Interesting. Okay, we'll see how this goes. A power room right off the bat. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, right, I only have food for the uh, first um, module. That's, as you might expect, not great, but uh, that's... Oh, this is powered by Mysterious Force. Okay, let's build another one of those then. And crack open this door to find some enemies. Nothing too dangerous yet, though. Cost 30 for another food replicator. I'm not sure if I'm going to build another one of those before we leave this floor or not. Uh, we'll see, though. Nine dust in here. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, we could build another one. We've only opened up four doors, so I feel fairly safe building another one. Fairly safe. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's build one more. Just to boost the amount of times we can uh, level people up before we leave. Just that extra little bit more. And we don't have enough dust to light up this room. Let's uh, leave Gork in here for the time being. And let's open up this door. We have more dust. Uh, enemies which could give us more dust, but no, they do not. So maybe Max O'Kane, you can sit in there and we'll crack open uh, this door next. And we finally do find enough dust to uh, move on. Or get enough 
to light up a room, I should say, and uh, you can go into there. Uh, y you can go into here. You two can make your way over up into here. And we find more rooms, okay. Uh, Police Ness, you're gonna stay behind, and we will crack open this door next. Please, more dust. Please. Nope, just a bunch of enemies. There we go. So, Elise Ness, you can go down here. Can I can't believe how many unpowered rooms and how little dust we've found on this floor. That is kind of baffling, but whatever. Not the end of the world. And go into here so enemy waves don't spawn in there. Oh boy. Not great that we only have 57 dust and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 unpowered rooms. That is not great. You're going to make your way up into there. I'm pretty sure you still can't uh, pick up the crystal in the tactical map, right? No, it doesn't appear to be the case. But you can just easily move over to there. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, can open up this door. Dead end. With, ooh, with more dust, but also more enemies. Um, well, I can't power up that room right off the bat. Do we have enemy waves spawning in? We do not have enemy waves spawning in. So let's power up this room. Um... Gork, you can go into there. Can you can uh, be our daredevil and continue going through uh, these rooms for the time being? Another five dust, you know. That's one more room that we can power up. So maybe. Well, nah. Uh, we'll go like that for a second, and then. Uh, you can handle that, right, Ken? Yeah, you can handle that. Easily. Okay. So let's power up that room. You can go there. Uh, Gork, you can go in there. I like that setup. Yeah. Okay. We'll go with this kind of a setup. This, I would have to imagine, is the last door on this floor. Probably. Probably, yeah. Never mind, I don't know anything about this game, apparently. Whatsoever. Uh, only one dust. That is rather unfortunate. Uh, I just noticed that statue there. That is a intense statue. Uh, okay, right. Ken, over here. Finally found the last door of the dungeon and the exit. Um, let's level some people up while we still have a chance. Level up. Oh, man, I forgot how high these uh, level up costs were at the start. Very, very high, to say the very least. Uh, now, the question is, okay, speed 34, 34, 25. 15. So it's probably going to be Ken that's my carrier for the crystal, which I'm not absolutely thrilled about, but um, it's better than nothing, I guess. Um, you can hold on to the that, and uh, let's bring like one, two, three, four. Sure. For the backpack to carry down if we encounter a merchant one of these days. And, okay, so Ken, you are going to make your way down there. Everyone else will make their way down here. Dear God, we have a lot of rooms uh, that we're going to have to be trying to make our way through. Like, a lot of rooms. Okay, Ken, you're going to pick that up. Start making your way to the exit, and everyone else will just have to try their best to protect you along the way. There's going to be a lot of enemies, no doubt about that, but, um... 
Nothing that we shouldn't be able to handle. Yeah, because especially on too easy difficulty, it shouldn't be that difficult at all. Okay, so... You finally made it into there. Let's just kill those guys quickly, make our way up here. Now we have to start going through uh, dark rooms, which is not great, but um, we shouldn't have any trouble handling that either. Come on, Gork, you just need to make it a little bit further, and that'll do it for the first floor. Okay, there we go. So that was a successful first floor. Uh, I think I will end the episode here. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. If you made it to this point of the video, feel free to support in the form of a like. It helps me out a lot, and it shows that you want to continue watching this series. And if you want to see more videos like this one, you can always click the link in the description to subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever I upload any new uh, content, whether it's of this or of any other kind. And until next time, as always, everyone, have a good one, and I will see you next time.